this should be good because sickers are now talking about potentially banning Black Ops 6. Yeah, they're talking about banning this game just because of this mission. And it's a rumor right now, guys. Like, here's the thing, though. This is a rumor that we're going to be having this tower situation. I cannot say uh, were those words on the YouTube here, but uh, apparently skins got leaked out. So already we have skins leaking out as well. They got a pushy boy as well. Like, look at look at my boy Frank Woods looking like a pushy boy. So looking at Frank Woods, I don't... Personally, I gave you guys my opinion that I don't think we're going to have this mission. But if they do, that would be crazy. But apparently now, they're talking about potentially banning this game. Yeah, like this video if you don't want the game getting banned. Just because it's controversial. Dislike the video if you want it banned. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Let me know in the comments. Roll this. Check Black Ops 6 might end up being censored or even totally banned in some countries. And uh -oh. this wouldn't be the first time. Whether it be movies, music, TV shows, or in this case, video games, there are games out there, such as Medal of Honor and past games in this franchise, Medal of Honor as Call well? of Duty, that have been banned in places. Black yeah. Ops 2 was banned in Pakistan. World of War was banned in Germany. Yo! Nah, no way. You're on Pakistani, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, it was banned. Yo, I remember all my homies were playing it though. All my, I, I guess they they found a way to actually play the game. You know, they found a mean to play. I guess they took that concept very real. Uh, if buying isn't owning, then uh, pirating isn't stealing. I guess they took that concept for real, for real. Germany. So to hear BO6 can end up being censored or banned in some countries yeah. doesn't really surprise me, knowing what the Black Ops games entail compared yeah. to Infinity Ward's Modern Warfare series or Sledgehammer's, well, random series, whether it be a World War II Wait game or something like Advanced Warfare. I would say the Black Ops games are a lot more edgy, based more around government secrets edgy, and yeah. classified yeah. documents, information that perhaps... That's honestly insane, bro. That's honestly insane. Because, because I remember Modern Warfare 19 was also banned in Russia, if I'm not mistaken, right? Not sure about Modern Warfare 2022. Perhaps that was not banned, right? Modern Warfare 2023. After all, it got like Teletoby skins. It had the friendly UAV online, right? It had the friendly UAV Bruh. online. So, of course, not gonna get banned. And now we're, we're getting this pushy looking boy, right? Frank was looking at my boy. Like, they massacred my boy, bruh. I know he's looking good, but for a Black Ops setting, my god, this game is about war, bro. What the hell? Like, he's looking like that. He's gonna be the next poster boy. Like, he's getting ready for like a. Like a photo shoot or something like that. Bro, we serious right now? This is why I don't think we're gonna have this mission. But if we do, that would be crazy. And here's the thing, right? Right as we get down to the climax and before I show you what's going on, I I've been reading a lot of comments, right? And most of you, okay? Most of you, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Most of you in the comments are saying you don't want this mission in the game. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the people that want this mission, they are not like letting uh, letting me know or putting the comment below, right? But people that don't want it they're basically going ahead and saying they don't want this mission because it's too real it, it, it's too recent one comment one of you actually commented by saying this that hey so it's fine for us to have no russian where we play as the bad guys shoot up uh, an airport and the civilians but it's not okay for us to get this yeah i i know where that person was coming from i totally makes a uh, totally understandable personally though i i want to see it Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, I think this will bring Call of Duty back. Everybody would be talking about it. Journalists would be melting down. There would be a whole lot of news on it. For sure, I would want to see it. I, it. It's a video game, bro. It is a video game. But I totally understand if you're somebody that don't want to see it. I mean, that's your opinion. I respect it, right? But for, from my standpoint, I think we, it's, it's a game. It's just a video game. We should get it. Uh, just like how... Uh, and I feel like... And right now, there are a lot of rumors about the fact that Adler is going to be behind this one. Because in the real world, of course, there's conspiracies and all that. That it was an inside job and all that, which I cannot, like, mention a whole lot on the YouTube here. But, of course, like, if you have been following this topic or you dug deep into it, you, you probably heard of the inside job, right? So, if that's the case, they can perhaps play it in a way where... Adler is the guy that is behind it though just how just like how we had Mason right Mason in uh, Black Ops 1 the guy that assassinated JFK that's how they portrayed in Black Ops 1 so they could perhaps do something similar and it would be crazy absolutely would be crazy uh, because the Black Ops is really about that Hasman Gold also reacted to this because uh, there are rumors that we're gonna be having a playable mission in Black Ops 6 which I, I personally don't think is gonna happen but I hope it, it is in the game but I don't still don't think it's gonna happen but wait for it. Certain governments 
wouldn't want people to know about, whereas the Modern Warfare games are just based on Modern Warfare. World War II yeah. is pretty common knowledge, and futuristic ones such as Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare haven't happened yet. Even the couple of futuristic Black Ops games that we've had, BO3 and 4, but ones such as Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 6, which had taken place during the Gulf War in the 90s, contain a lot of real-life stuff that did happen that perhaps we didn't know about unless you're mm. really into that stuff and look into it, then maybe you weren't aware of Operation Paperclip or Operation yeah, Northwood. Northwoods, which yeah, was Northwood. a proposed yeah, yeah, yeah. false flag operation in the 1960s, originated within the US Department of Defense, which called yeah. for CIA operatives to both stage and commit acts of terrorism against American military and civilian targets, and then blame them on the Cuban government. And yeah. that justification- The good old America, good old United States of America, baby. Yeah, this is absolutely wild. If you're into conspiracies, guys, like I have a second channel, this is where we talk UFOs and conspiracy stuff, yay! Link should be in the pinned comment where you can Catch all my YouTube channels, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and all that. Uh, even the secret link. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo boo. Now, if you this, if this is your first time hearing about Op Operation Northwood, bro, this is insane, right? Because the American government they really, really wanted to kill their own people in the states, right? So they can uh, have like another reason to start a war with another country. This is real. This is real. Okay. This apparently got out there. Now you got to think about this way, right? Like how many other operations that are still classified that are similar to Operation Northwood. And of course, like this uh, tower situation, very, very controversial. Absolutely. It is right. Some people believe that those people did it in the Middle East. Some believe that it's an inside job, right? Because, uh, you know, two planes couldn't melt down the, okay. I, I, I don't want to be talking a whole lot of that because, uh, yeah, this is like very, very, deep youtube channels have been shut down because of that we're talking video games here uh, and uh, I'll, i would laugh if actually like they have this mission in the game and us actually bans the game yeah what are the odds that us if yeah here's the thing though if us is gonna ban the game therefore they're not gonna have this mission simple as that because majority of their gamers the toxic gamers or the call of duty audience is canada north america literally so canada mexico us right of course europe as well but i don't think europe is gonna ban the game because they have this mission in the game because this does not necessarily affect them i mean it affected the entire world of course when it happened but what i mean is that it happened in the u.s primarily right so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. if they ban it they're not gonna have it in the game simple as that chin would be used to start a war against them the possibilities detailed in that document included the remote chin would be used to start a war against them the possibilities yeah. detailed in that document included the remote control of a civilian aircraft which would be secretly repainted as a u.s air force plane and then a fabricated shootdown of it off the coast of Cuba, the possible assassination of Cuban immigrants, sinking boats of Cuban refugees off the high sea, blowing up a US ship and orchestrating terrorism in US cities. Crazy, All of this man. was proposed, but luckily rejected by the president at the time, JFK. So it's real life yeah. stuff like this that Damn. the Black Ops series I mean, shout out to JFK if he really did reject that. That part I did, I was not aware. I heard of this con uh, conspiracy, but I was not aware that JFK actually rejected. Shout out to JFK for rejecting that. Like, holy crap! Like, imagine uh, doing that to your own people like that, bro. That and starting another war with a another country and blaming them for it, right? Classic, classic. That's a classic right there, you know. Torches upon, which makes it for me not only the best but the most interesting. But that's also part of the reason why one black ops 2 was banned in pakistan well that's not yeah. the exact same reason but i'll tell you why in just a second and also why black ops 6 could end up being at least censored in some countries so anyway as you would expect a lot of people since the reveal of bo6 have been talking about this on twitter youtube the internet some quite big leaks as well i don't know whether they have inside information or not i've been seeing some pretty crazy stuff with yeah. what they've been coming out with but someone by the name of crash d said BO6 is going to be censored and banned for some countries. I, I do believe that it's going to be banned. If it's a little bit controversial, then it's going to be banned in some countries. What countries, I guess, remains to be seen. But uh, but also, I don't think they're going to have it. Man, these things are going to have BBC bundles, Teletoby skins, right? Anime waifu skins. I think the entire world would love that. I think the entire world would love that. I don't think it's going to get banned if they have that crap. But if they have this mission, oh, hell yeah, it's going to get banned. Absolutely. He then put out another tweet saying the Black Ops 6 campaign is going to be on another level. I think that's what Jeez. he was supposed to say. And someone replied, is it that controversial? And he replied by with the dead emoji. I also yeah. saw someone else say the 9-11 mission will be shown in the reveal trailer. Um, I'm a little bit skeptical about this. I don't know who this guy is, if he's a leaker or just some random. Here's the thing, right? Like if they if they show that mission in the trailer, 
holy crap bro like this game is gonna blow up everybody's gonna talk about it right it's gonna trend like a wildfire it's gonna start a wildfire on the internet a lot of journalists will come yeah, 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 yeah. this game needs to be banned this game needs to be banned uh, there will be a whole lot of controversy conspiracies but pre-order numbers will boost up though remember guys no pre-order listen man don't pre-order the game even if you want to buy the game you can literally pre-order the game three days before pre-download the game that way and play it on launch if your internet is slow then pre-order a week before not like months and months before dog don't give them your money mate at this point you're literally asking for it they're gonna hit you from the back hard damn it they're gonna hit you from the back, bro. Like, don't do it. Don't pre-order. Remember, no pre-order. Even if you want to buy the game. Now, if it's a collector's edition, physical one, okay, understandable. As soon as it's live, you want to buy it because, you know, it's gonna run out. Okay, whatever. It's your money at the end of the day. I understand that, right? But for simply pre-ordering the game, that's not going anywhere. You're pre-ordering months before, and it's not going anywhere it's always gonna be there right you can buy it like a week after two weeks after month after years later or literally like a day before or the same day yeah there's no point in pre-ordering uh, yeah like let's not pre-order the game but of course like if they show it in the trailer it's it, it, everybody's gonna pre-order let's let's be real gamers never Bruh. learn listen that uh, it'd be what it'd be right but also if they reveal it in the trailer then a lot of journalists will be on the bandwagon of hey this need this game needs to be censored or banned right and if they show it in the trailer i think they're gonna really really set themselves up for potentially censoring their own game for example if they don't say anything about this mission although there are rumors leaks and some teases happening as well we covered that in the last video but if they don't show this in the trailer and nobody's gonna necessarily ask for a ban or censor and they can literally have it in the game so it's gonna be like a surprise you're playing the campaign you're playing and come mission number three bam you you get to see that and that's when journalists will start to be like hey ban this game ban this game but it's like too late at that point the game is out <laughs> the game is already out you know what i mean so it's one of those things if they show it in the trailer they're gonna have the chance to ask for a ban of this game or censoring of this game if, if you catch my drift if you feel what i'm saying like the video if you if you uh understand what i'm com what i'm saying or if you get my my if you get my if you catch my drift you know and in person personally i don't believe the whole 9 11 thing in black ops 6 in terms of us actually being able to play out that mission yeah we might I don't think so. hear about it i think that's very likely i think yep. it could be touched on yeah yeah exactly that's what i was saying like i i can see them reference it maybe show it in like a cutscene where it's happened and now we gotta do this and that yeah right maybe they're gonna approach it from the angle of hey it was an inside job and adler did it right so us did it so it's like friendly fire or they're gonna they're gonna go with the route of the media like what the media said at the time that they did it right so we're gonna like invade other countries i mean or, or potentially they're gonna be like okay it's an inside job but we're still gonna invade other countries and do that which actually happened in the real world right so maybe they're gonna do the real life history but also it's gonna be going super deep where they're gonna talk about it being an inside job as well right i, I don't know man i think it's gonna be interesting and of course as 20 as a 28 year old man i i do uh, listen man like if i was 12 years old kid i can definitely see like uh, ah you know pushy boy frank woods pushy boy you know what i mean but as a 28 year old man like i hope the game is controversial i hope they attack like conspiracies from multiple different angles and we get a ton of conspiracies being covered in the game yeah why not bro like why not bro i feel like that an average call of duty player has uh aged right we're we're all getting older we're all growing up we have fortnite for like kitty's game why not get a mature game right like the video if you agree dislike if you disagree i want to know where you at in a cutscene, but try out going as far as to actually let us play out a mission either being on the plane that crashes into the buildings or being a spectator from the outside perhaps just standing on the street similar to that one mission in i think it was modern warfare 3 where you're just walking down the road in london with your child and then the explosion happens that one was very yeah. controversial and wasn't even yeah. based off a real life event so yeah, if yeah, you yeah. can imagine Troyok even daring to put any sort of 
9-11 mission within Black Ops 6, then I can see it being extremely controversial. But as far as it being mentioned, which I mentioned, think yeah, it will do, fine. I can't see too many problems with that unless they go down the conspiracy theory route. And by the way, just in case you're wondering where the hell all of this comes from, I'm pretty sure the rumor started where in one of the BO6 teasers, you can see the date 2001. 2001. Yeah. So if this is all of the evidence that we have for that, I think it's a pretty... Imagine there was one extra one there, then it would have been 100% confirmed. It has 9-1 there. You, you feel what I'm saying? It doesn't have an extra one. So, yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> Some people will be like, you'll see, here's the one, bro. Here is the one right there, bro. Here. But it's not kind of connected, and it's very hard to make out whether this is one or not. This is like the, uh, how do you say that uh, in English? I, I don't know. Slash? I yeah, four slash. Yeah, that's the one big stretch especially when it comes to us being able to play that as an actual mission i don't know anything but i'm 99.999 percent sure that's not going to happen however it may be relevant because this game is going to revolve around the gulf war in the 90s which led to the invasion of iraq but yeah. it could also like black ops 2 touch on wars and events in the near future as well so something yep. like 9-11 would be about 10 years after which then resulted mm. on the war on terrorism and especially afghanistan but will yeah. it end up being that controversial that BO6 is going to end up being censored and banned in some countries. Now, oh, if they do end up touching absolutely. on 9-11, the only country that would possibly censor or ban that really is America. And considering <laughs> that's Call of Duty's main market, yeah. Activision and Treyarch would have done their due diligence. Yeah, I know. You, no, listen, man. I, I believe... Of course, we could all be wrong, but even if they have a playable mission, which, uh, of course, I don't think they're gonna do it, like, wow, right, this is crazy, they're not gonna do it, already I'm seeing a lot of people saying that, no, don't add it, don't do it, don't do it, I think people that want it, they're not just saying they want it, right, it's a video game, that's the way I see it, but, but of course, some people are saying, don't, don't do it, don't do it, and if they do it, then... I, I don't know what those people would do it. If you're somebody, like, respectfully, right? Like, I okay, I, I hear your take. I hear your opinion. You have the right to have in your opinion. If you don't want it, hey, perfectly fine. You don't want it. You don't want it. Fair game, okay? Fair game. Now, I want to know if you're somebody that don't want to see this in, in this game, right? And if they do it, what are you going to do then? Like, are you not going to buy the game? And if you're not buying the game, listen, man, like... We're all, we're all adults here. I'm assuming we're all adults here, so it's fine if you're not gonna buy it. Uh, perfectly fine. But I, I wanna know, like, what, what you're gonna do if they add it in the game. But I also do believe that even if they add it in the game, US is not gonna ban the game. Re you feel what I'm saying? Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, bro! Freedom of speech, bro! America! If you... You know, you know what I mean? It's one of those things. I don't think they're gonna ban it. But if they ban it then of course trek is gonna remove the mission because hey man <laughs> profits money talks bull squash walks right so they're gonna remove it absolutely no questions asked whatsoever diligence here and would know beforehand if they did end up going down this route if there was a possibility that it was going to be banned or censored in america then they just wouldn't do it because that would be a yeah. huge loss to them monetary wise other than yeah, that doing a 9-11 yeah. mission i can't think of any other country that would want to ban or censor the game yeah. and what we've seen so far from the marketing it really does look like this game is going to be based around exposing the lie and if they have this mission in the game and us don't ban it and if they portray the middle east guys as like really really the bad and terrible guys then i can see the game being banned in the middle east yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i can i can perhaps see some of the countries and maybe not all maybe some of the countries if they really, really go like crazy with it, right? You know what I mean? If they go crazy with it, but they also touch the idea of inside job and that conspiracy in real life, then maybe they're not gonna ban it. I Yeah, but we'll see. I think the game is gonna be controversial and I hope it is, man. I, I wanna see like one good Call of Duty game, bro. One good, just one good, one, one good Call of Duty game, bro. Eyes of the American government, not really any other country, perhaps maybe France, the UK, some others in Europe. But for me, that's not really a reason for it to be banned. Censored <laughs> is a different question, or especially yeah. at one time it was, because if you take your minds back to 2008, well, World at War was originally banned in Germany. The reason oh, for that was because oh, of all of the Nazi symbols that were shown in it and the violence. Treyarch did eventually release a censored version of the game, and that was able to release in Germany, but what yeah. they had to do was remove all of the Nazi symbols, remove blood splatters, fair. reduce any amount of blood that was shown. Okay, that, that's fair, that's fair. So they can, they definitely can release the game censored in that said country. 
I, I think that's fine. But, but yeah, this is one of those arguments that I've seen in the past as well. Yo, don't censor the game, bro. Don't censor the game. If you really want to censor it, censor it for that said country that is asking for censorship. And that is perfectly fine. And I agree with that. So, in other words, <laughs> if America is like, no, man, we want to ban this game, does that mean that they're going to censor this game in America only? And release this mission in other countries? Nah, I don't think so because uh, they're primarily making the game for North America. They're making it for the entire world. Call of Duty is super big like that. But but you know what I mean, right? Like if the game gets banned in America, it's over. Uh, yeah, they they will make sure that version. Yeah, if if it's banned in America, you better believe that this thing is not gonna be in other versions either. Shown from bayonet attacks, if you killed an enemy that couldn't cause a blood splatter on the wall or blood stains on the floor, if you shot enemies that were already dead, any blood effects coming from them had to be reduced, body parts couldn't be separated, enemies weren't allowed to be set on fire, there was a cutscene in World at War which showed an American Crazy. soldier shooting a Japanese soldier, in which he then said, you like that you piece of shit? That was cut. There was a mission showing German soldiers shooting wounded Russian soldiers, that was edited, and Holy. the big one you might be surprised to know is Zombies was cut from the game altogether. <gasps> you can imagine a no. lot of these features such as- No, you- Oh shit! Deadass? Deadass? That's crazy! And today, apparently, we had some massive news for PlayStation and Xbox. I'm not sure if you guys got to see it or not. A lot of people are mad. Check out this video on the screen. On the left though, PlayStation has gone fully woke just like Xbox. Uh, yeah. Check out both of these videos and I will see you right there.